Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths Level. This is the Applied Practice Paper E. Here we're working on question 7. A car with a mass of 1,200. Bear with me while I draw my car. I always prefer to draw a diagram when I've got these sorts of questions here. It's pulling a trailer. Trailer. Uh, with a mass of 400 kilograms. Uh, in a straight horizontal road. The car and the trailer are connected by a tow rope modelled by an inextensible rod. Uh, the engine of the car provides a constant force of 3,200. So add that to my diagram. Uh, the horizontal resistance of the car and the trailer are proportional to their respective masses. So we're going to have some drag force on both the car and the trailer. And this is going to be proportional to their masses. Given that the acceleration of the car is 0.4 meters per second squared, find the resistance to motion of the trailer. Okay, what I'll, what I'll do first is I'll assume we have a total drag for the whole system. We'll call that 1,600 based on the fact we have two masses, one of 1,200, one of 400, uh, and it's proportional to it. So it's not just 1,600, we'll call it 1,600K. Just like we did at GCSE, whenever we introduced a proportion, we introduced a, a letter K. Okay, so what we need to do now is insert these values into F equals MA. So, the driving force forward is 3,200. The drag force that's pulling us back is 1,600 times by K. And this is going to equal the mass, 1,600 times by our acceleration, which is 0.4 meters per second squared. Okay, simplifying this formula here, and we get K is 1.6. And then answering this question here, find the resistance to motion on the trailer. And in this case here, the drag on the trailer, just the trailer, not the whole system, is going to be 400 times by 1.6 and we're going to get 640 newtons. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. Part B, find the tension in the tow rope. So what I'll do is I'll split up the car and the um, trailer, and I'll just take a look at what's happening with the trailer. The trailer here in the tow bar is going to have some tension, T. So introducing a new F equals MA equation, we're going to have T as the force that's uh, dragging it forward. Take away the drag of just the trailer equals the mass of just the trailer. So you can see here we're working out a whole different F equals MA equation based on just the trailer. Times by, well, it's going to have the same acceleration as it did before. So times 0 0.4. And here we're going to get um, 160 add on 640 and we're going to get the tension as 800 newtons. Okay, looking ahead to part C, find the, so when the car and the trailer reach a speed of a 225 meters per second, the tow bar breaks. Assuming that the resistance to motion remains unchanged, find the distance the trailer travels before coming to a stop. So I think what we need here is a bit of SUVAT, S-U-V-A-T. Um, we want the distance travelled, we want to calculate that. We know our initial speed is uh, 25, our final speed is going to be 0, and we're going to need one of these other two, A or T. I think we're going to need T, and we'll have to work this out using another F equals MA. So now going forward, if we look back at our diagram here, this tension in the tow bar here is going to be completely lost now. So when we did our F equals MA, all we're going to have left now is just the drag on that, um, on that trailer. It's just going to be minus 640, no force taking it forwards, equals 400 times by a. So we're going to get here minus 640 from the drag on the trailer equals the mass of the trailer, 400, times by A. And in this case here, 600 
and 40 divided by 400 will give us minus 1.6 equals A. So what we can do now is use that minus 1.6 as our value for A. And now we need a formula that connects all of these three values together. I think what we need to do here is V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. V is 0. U squared is uh, 25 squared, so 625. And we're going to add on, we're going to subtract because the A will make this negative. Uh, 3.2s, so if we add on the 3.2s onto the other side, and we do now 625 divided by 3.2, we're going to get 195 meters, 0.3125, so I'll leave my final answer here as 195 meters. Okay. Part D is state how I've used the modelling assumptions that the tow rope is inextensible. We have used um, the assumption that the tow rope is inextensible by the fact we have assumed acceleration is constant and equal between the car and the trailer. What it means by inextensible, inextensible effectively inextensible means just not stretchy. It's effectively a bar rather than a string. So no, not stretchy. Okay, if it was stretchy then it would have a, a sort of simple harmonic motion happening, but you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so that's 12 marks for that whole question.